my words probably will mean nothing here. Honestly, they'll probably just go over people's heads or just, you know, not matter at all. But the one thing I hear the most around BB Tag is people not liking the controls very much. There are like several factors that, you know, why people don't like them. They usually say, oh, well, two button fire is black. Or, or the same thing, like, oh, well, I wanted the technical controls. Or someone would say, well, I just want everyone to play like they're like what they would play like for their home game. And etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And for me personally, BB Tag's gameplay is not like is not the main beef I have with the game. You know, like like the entire time I've been complaining about the game. The gameplay is the one thing I have defended actually. Like BB Tag is like that game I can actually pick up and play. For me personally. Like and I actually like playing it more than, you know, the other base Blazable games. Now it's like I like them, like like BB Tag better than them. Not <laughs> far from it. I don't hate BB Tag at all. I'm just saying, like, look, I just like I can just pick up that game and play, and that's why I like about it. And you know, obviously the crossover aspect. But like with at least with the other games, I, like at least with, like the base Blaze Blue games or base Persona 4 Arena or Undernight or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, I gotta like learn that game in order to actually have a good time with it. And sometimes I, you know, I just don't want to. Sometimes I want to jump in and just one fight, one match without having to struggle during it. So I just like, eh, I just pick up a BB Tag and just f it, f with it. And just that's how I get. <laughs> that's how I just play that game more. And I, I to, my responses to those kind of arguments are, let's say, okay, two button fighter. Now I can understand people having grievances, you know, with just a well, a and b being the only buttons you technically use in the game for, for attacking reasons. Now you don't just straight up use those attacks. You got like you know, obviously like any other fighting game, switch between them because hell, even games with all combo systems stop after a while. You can't just rely on you can't just re freaking voice crack. You can't just rely on auto combos and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, just to you know get you to win. I mean hell, I mean if you do that, people are obviously gonna see what you're doing and try to punish you for it. I mean that happens with every game with auto combos. And people can really have you seen the stuff people have done with BB Tag? Like it's insane. Like I've seen long crazy strings of combos which shouldn't be done by man, and I like it. It's crazy. And you know what? Funny enough, tag team fighters are not something I really play all that much. I mean, I do own some, and I do play a lot of them. It's just tag team fighters are something I'm still, you know, trying to get used to. Like e even after all these years, because like the moment I really got into tag fighters was what uh, Marvel vs. Capcom three, like base Marvel vs. Capcom three. That was like the one. Um, well, I mean, I'm not can't, well, mm, maybe I mean, there's probably ones I played before that, but. Like, that's the earliest one I can remember, because that's the one when I actually, you know, started to, like, play with the tag mechanics more on it. Like, I have I play, I played other games prior to that. It's just, like, I can't remember what other ones were there. Uh, but, yeah, I, I hear people do complain about the two-button two aspect of the fighting game, but I kind of like it. it. It's not... BB Tag is not brain-dead, like as so many people think. It's not completely brain-dead. You can come up with some creative stuff. It's There's stuff there. You can't just press A and B and just win the victory because hell, people will obviously see you doing that. People will know what the auto combo looks like if you don't switch it up. It ain't no one. I mean, that's my that's my personal take of the whole auto combo thing. People can see an auto combo happening, and if you do it repeatedly, duh, I can see you do it and you know counterattack accordingly or block accordingly or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I can see what you're doing. I mean. It's, it, I mean that's just that's, that's, that's just what I believe on it, and then there's the uh, as I said before the argument about okay what about the game and having this characters play from their own home series, okay one I don't see that ever getting balanced because if every single character in the roster played from their home series obviously with the exception of Ruby because they never had a game before well a fighting game, um that wouldn't work at all. Like, if every character on the roster played from their home series, I don't see how that could work at all, because they all... The games may feel similar in a way, but they all play differently. And um, I heard someone... Uh, I heard someone bring up the fact that, okay, how would Persona 4 real work going against Blaze with characters? Now, yeah, Arxis made both games, but those f games play fundamentally different. Because, obviously, Persona 4 has, like, its, um, you know, as, like, the buffs and debuffs and status effects. They have those. They, they, in Blaze Blue, Blaze Blue has stats effects, but like 
not every character can use them. Like extremely, like a small pool of characters can even use the status effects. And I mean, even then, some of those characters who use the status effects aren't even played all that much. Like, and then you got the Undernight characters, which is also another thing because they rely on their auto combos and other moves that don't interact well with the other characters. Then you got uh, Arcana Heart, which definitely will not work. <laughs> I'm just gonna be straight with you now. Arcana Heart would have never worked, especially with the whole, you know, with the Arcana being a separate character, kinda, and with Heart herself and the other Arcana Heart characters that would probably make it into the game. That wouldn't have worked. And Akatsuki BlizzConf, I, I haven't, I played along it a little bit, so, you know, forgive me if I don't remember, but, and obviously Sin Archive never had a, you know, fighting game before, but, well, uh, Yumi has never been in a fighting game. Homura has, but I have never played. Um, that uh, that heroines game I can't remember the name of, so I wouldn't know how Homer plays. But I will see all these characters interacting well. Now, yeah, I can understand someone's making the plan that or it could be a more technical gameplay, like more universal way of doing it. But I'm wondering, I'm starting to wonder how that would work with the characters being control, like you know tagged in and out. That could work. I mean, it ain't the first time that something like this has happened before. But I could see the game working in a technical way, but I just <laughs> that's just more buds to be taken up. <laughs> because I mean I feel like with that they'll have to take out the clash assault. I mean, they could take out the clash button. I mean, I only use it just for the hell of it sometimes when I can't like get a good hit in. So the clash button could be taken out for extra C attack or something, I don't know. Uh D for the character swapping in. Now, I can understand them not taking that out because you know, got swapping in and out. It could be a three button fire. Instead of like a two button one, it, it, it could be a three button one. They could just take the clash. I don't, I don't, I don't hate the clash assault button, the, the clash button, but like, I just, I mean, I guess it's for an extra attack, so I can understand that, but like, I'm like, I don't know. It just, it feels like a weird mood be put in there, but it ain't the worst thing ever. I mean, hell, Persona has the thing where they do that all out attack, which is technically what that is. The clash assault is just the all out attack button for Persona 4 Arena. Just, it's, 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 practi it's practically the same. I mean, it, it, it serves the same function, at least. Except there aren't two people attacking you. <laughs> but I, 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 I feel as though BB Tag is like... The gameplay itself was not the thing I had a problem with. The gameplay was fine to me. I mean, hell, I even like the fact that they gave more purpose to the auto combo button. Well, sorry, smart combos. With you, you know, attacking, and then boom, you can swap out your characters if you hit enough attack. And I like that. You know, it's an easier way to switch between characters, because, you know... I mean, hell, it kind of... You know, the cobbles kind of stopped after, um, you know, the original base, BB Tech 1.0. It kind of stopped right as um, you just knew you finished your attack. And I don't know. BB Tech is like the game I just jump in and play. I mean, I can understand them, sh you know, dropping the gameplay down, you know, to accommodate for more people trying to get into this franchise. I mean, hell. I, I'm if you want to play the other games that are out there, I'm not saying like, oh, you I'm not saying that you shouldn't have complaints about this game. They're totally on stream. I've been complaining about this game since like the beginning, since the game ever came like was announced. And I can't blame people for like wanting a more technical gameplay style. But hey, you still got Blaze with Central Fiction, you still got Undernight, you still got Persona 4 Arena. I mean if you want to go to the trouble of it, you can if you got PC, you can play Arcana Heart and Akoski BlizzConf, so I mean, you got you got your you, know, you got your options, you know, and plus it gives you an insight of how those games played outside of BB Tag. But I don't know if that's the right way of putting things into perspective. I don't know if that's a good way of saying, oh well, if you can't if you don't like playing this game, you got the other games to play. I don't feel it's fair saying that. But with BB Tag, I don't think the gameplay was ever my main problem, really. I mean, that that was like the one thing that I just was okay with. Because I'm not a very good fighting game player. I am just a slightly above casual. I know what I'm doing, but I'm not very good at doing what I know. <laughs> and I do like the gameplay of this game. And it's not that bad, really. Like, I mean, some people are just like, well, it's just brain dead easy. Or, you know, I mean, they just come off more technical fires. Like, more technical fires are for me kind of like, I can play them. But I just don't play them that long. Like, let's say some like, let's say some like Street Fighter uh, uh, three, like just Street Fighter three. That game is like one of the more technical games I've ever played in my life, and I don't even play it anymore because I just 
don't like doing it. Like some of the, some of the stuff that's on there is a little bit too hard for me. And yeah, sometimes if a game gets too hard for me, I just stop playing. Sometimes I go back to it because you know I don't like just leaving a game right there and giving up. But Street Fighter Three is a different kind of case because I don't know, man. Like that's why I stick to Street Fighter Four more because it has a perfect balance of like gameplay I like and gameplay I can like fit into. Street Fighter Five is a different story because I haven't played that game in like forever. But Street Fighter Five wasn't that bad a game. People didn't like it, but that's me. That's my personal take. I and I I can I kind of enjoy Street Fighter Five. You know, outside of, you know, DLC and, you know, like, base Street Fighter 5 was garbage. Like, let's, let's get that out of the way. Base Street Fighter 5 was garbage. Arcade Edition, great. Oh, and there's a Championship Edition. Well, Champion Edition. <laughs> uh, but going back to the main topic, my bad. I went off tangent with the Street Fighter shit. Um, yeah. I personally do not hate uh, Cross Tag for its gameplay. And I, I'm kind of glad I can just hop in and play, like, anytime I want. Like, I could just pick it up right now and just play it. So I just pick it up and play it. And the game is not... Like, the game does, like... I wish that it had more combo trials and more, like, tutorials regarding you and a second character. Because, like, the tutorials and tactics don't go go as, go as further than that. They only stick to one character. And they don't, like, you know, bring out the more fundamentals of how you're supposed to work with these two characters or... How these matchups supposed to work? I feel like more tutorials would have helped with that to emphasize the whole uh, tag team aspect more. Uh, but I think one of the crazy thing people be doing with BB tag is like crazy. I mean, yeah, some combos are kind of dead brain dead. Either. There was like a Teddy one I saw, and it was just like, wow, all you have to do is just attack, you attack with the B button, jump up for a little bit, jump back down, attack. Again. <laughs> but hey, at least they figured, <laughs> at least they figured out something. Um, but yeah. I, I, me personally, I wouldn't want a tactical style. Like, I mean, I would. I mean, I kind of would. But in the back of my head, I, I, I'm wondering how it would work. I mean, it probably isn't that hard to work with. Hell, Arc has done this sort of thing before. It shouldn't be that hard. And hell, look at Blazable and Guilty Gear. It shouldn't be that hard to try to convert everyone to a different gameplay style. But I feel like doing so would change, like, every, like, every, like, if the whole game was based off just Blazable's way of playing the game, right? Like, if it was just based off Blaze Blue's way of playing, I could just see, like, I could definitely see how weird it would be to play to play the uh, Undernight characters uh, and the Akatsuki Bliss Comfort and Arcana Heart characters. Those games play differently. And I feel like with the smart combo system, I, I don't like the way they call it smart combo, though, to be honest. I don't like the way they call it smart combo because it makes me feel like I'm stupid. Like, it makes me. Like, I don't know why they call it smart combo. That just makes it. They just, like, puts more salt into the wound than it already has to. Like, it just makes me feel like I'm, I'm being smart, but I know for a fact that I'm, all I'm doing is pressing one uh, a couple of buttons. <laughs> don't ever call anything smart combo. Don't even call anything. Don't even call technical combos. Like, just, just <laughs> go back to calling it. Just, just call it combo, damn it. <laughs> just call it something else but smart combo, god damn it. Uh, where was I? Yeah, I'm just <laughs> going off the again. But I feel like this was a way, like, BB Tag was a way to let you like, pull everything together under its own umbrella. To give, to let every character play, like, under one umbrella. Like, all the characters don't exactly play the same. They have, like, you know, the same, in a way, same move commands. Because, you know, they all, they not all of them do, but most of them do. But it's not completely exactly the same. Like, all the characters don't play exactly the same. I mean, hell, if this was, like, the characters playing exactly the same, I guess it would be, like, a roster of 53 Rognus just running around. And nobody wants to play a roster of 53 of the same character. Everybody has their own mechanics to go along with and stuff like that. I mean, hell, there's the Persona characters and their Personas. Uh, um, there's Ru um, Arcana Heart, well, only Heart and her, like, her dashing, like her, air her aerial stuff. That's still there. It's just not as insane as it was, really, really insane as it was back in um, the base Arcana Heart. I mean, hell, we got a freaking tank. You guys want to put uh, technical combos on a goddamn tank in a crossover fighting game where everyone else plays? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's my take on it. I, I personally don't hate BB Tag for the combo system. I understand people like, oh, it's branded easy, it's blah, blah, blah. I, I personally don't. I don't personally don't hate it. I like it. You know, I mean, if you don't want to play BB Tag, that's, that's, that's completely fair. That's totally fair. That is completely and utterly fair. I just personally like the game um, just for this. Like, like if if nothing else, let allow like let me like BB tag. It's the gameplay that just pulled me back in. That's the main reason why I still even play this game to this day. To be honest, because there's been no updates for like six months. As of now, maybe there'll be some updates later. I don't know, but 
uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like the gameplay BB Tag. Freaking throw pitchforks at me.